In a rain-soaked Death Valley, LSU and McNeese only getting in eight plays as the lightning would not subside and the rain kept coming back. The Tigers and the Cowboys having to cancel the 2015 season opener, leaving fans and players very disappointed. I'm sorry we didn't get a chance to play, but it boiled down to player safety. Um, at the end of the day, we have to be concerned about the players' welfare. The first game cancellation since 1918 dampened what was supposed to be a joyous day for LSU football and its fans. We would like to have uh, prepared uh, best for uh, Mississippi State, um, you know, having had a first game under our belt before we played them. Um, that's why we waited as long as we could. The three plus hour rain delay sent many fans to the exits except for a select group of brave souls hoping that the game would resume. We're in Tiger Stadium. We're staying until the game ends. I want you to know, uh, to the fans, thanks for coming. Thanks for being a part. We, uh, we tried. We gave everything, we, every consideration we could to being on the field and playing that game. Now for LSU, the Tigers head on the road to a hostile environment in Starkville for a rematch with Dak Prescott and Mississippi State. With last year's brutal defeat still fresh in their minds, the Tigers have now lost the chance to get warmed up with an opening night game. With back-to-back -back SEC games to start, sophomore quarterback Brandon Harris and the Tigers will be baptized by fire in 2015. There was a good McNeese State team and a team that we, you know, we prepared well for, and so there's some really there's some, going to be some carryover in the preparation as we go to Mississippi State. Covering the Tigers, Johnny Lombardi, Tiger TV Sports.